What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here. As always, I want to say thank you all for <laughs> watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. So, this is day number, is this day number six? Day number six of Hurt Season. No, no, I thought, I thought Thursday was a week. Today's only no, So, it was Thursday? Friday, yeah, Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday. Monday, Tuesday. This is number six. Tomorrow will be the last day that I have to do this. Now, it come, it's come to my attention that some people say that I'm not honoring the bet because they can't see the hat, the lettering on it. Here's the problem. Who wears that? Oh, you want me to wear my hat like this? Uh, I'm sorry. If I wear a hat, it's up like this. Okay? It's up like this. I don't like shit all in my face. So, here's what I'm gonna do. I, I, I'm gonna try and appease you guys, okay? There, there, there you go, roll up, hold, let, let me puff it up. Now I will say, Lord Brunson, shout out to you. Um, the hat, the feel for, for it uh, and, and, and all that, it's a nice hat, with the exception of, and I love the camouflage look. I, I might try and just go ahead and get some different greens and, and just see if I can just like paint out the, that, that part of it. Because other than that, I, I really do like the hat. Just not the hurt season. So, here you go. I, I've been working at the Red Brick House uh, trying to save our American history here, okay? <laughs> the American history here. You know, um, 50 years after the Revolutionary War, the Red Brick House was built. Think about that. Think about that. And so I've been working on that thing all day and stuff. I got news that's going on with the Dallas Cowboys. We, we, we went ahead and we made a trade for a defensive lineman and stuff. We're, we're trying to do things kind of Eagle-esque. Because, see, that's something that the Eagles would do. And, you know, I, you've been worried about me saying something nice about the Eagles. You know, it's funny because people are giving me crap about this bet. The bet was I have to wear the hat. And not say anything bad about the Eagles. It wasn't that I had to say good things about the Eagles. So my mama said, and you know my mom who's 82 years old, 82 years old, always says, if you can't say something good, don't say anything at all. So I'm like, okay, that, that's, that's exactly what I did. I didn't say anything bad. Didn't say anything bad at all. Right? But I did when I was sitting and doing the video on the toilet and I was reading about the Dallas Cowboys of the 90s that won three Super Bowls in four years. Yeah. So, in other words, Eagles, uh, I'm sorry, I, I, don't, I can't say that because I, I almost slipped and said something bad about you guys. But it was talking about what Jimmy Johnson was doing with all of the trades that he made all of the free agents that he brought in and stuff like that. And I actually said in that video, that's very similar to what the Eagles have been doing. So I actually did say something nice about you. I actually did. And see, here's the thing that, that's funny is the haters out there will still go back to the night that I first got this. And I actually wore this hat for the whole live stream. The whole live stream. With the whole caveat that I said that this isn't actually the video that I'll wear it on. That was actually bonus coverage. But we get people out there that are saying, oh, you're a welcher because you didn't make the hat visible. Okay, well, listen. Next time, put hurt season under here and you'll see it. Look, you'll see it, okay? That's the way I wear my hat. I'm not wearing a hat like this. I can't see where the hell I'm going. I'm going to be walking into walls and shit. All right. The singing part. Philly 500 originally when he proposed the bet before we got into negotiation and then didn't show up for my live stream so we could finalize it, had me actually call into his live stream. And that, that sorry, that, that whole singing happy birthday to Jerry Jones, which I actually did on one video. For what? That doesn't do anything for the Eagles. What he should have done was, and see, this is not my problem. It's not my problem. It's not my fault. This is Philly's fault. He should have said, 
fly, sing fly, eagles fly. Make me go ahead and do the whole wing thing, you know, and put that as part of the bet. See, you got to clarify things when you do stuff like this as a bet, okay? I mean, it's cut and dry when you say shave your head, okay? Shave your head. Well, technically, I guess, yeah, you shave your head. There's no explanation. But you say wear the hat and don't say anything back. Okay, that leaves it open for all kinds of different things. And you all know that I'm very, very creative. Now, are you happy that you can see hurt season, although it keeps... It, you know, it keeps deflating, okay? It's kind of like, you know, uh, fake boobies that pop a hole in it, and, you know, all of a sudden, well, you know, left, left one's bigger than the right one. Like Tom Brady's uh, football. Well, yeah, like Tom Brady's <laughs> football. It's, it's deflating, okay? But I'm, we I'm, I'm wearing it, okay? All right? And, and I'm not doing my work that I should be doing because I got to get caught up because, you know, I actually have three channels, by the way. I actually have three channels um, because, see, I got a cooking channel. Okay, where I put all my tailgating recipes and everything on there. Uh, you know, I even show you how you really should make a cheesesteak, I mean, excuse me, a steak and cheese sub as opposed to a cheesesteak. I don't use cheese whiz. Sorry. It's too close to plastic. I'm not trying to eat plastic. But I also have my day job where I'm actually doing construction work and rebuilding a house. Now, before I get out of here, before I get out of here, my buddy, Philly D, Philly D, okay? Philly D, who helped me get onto the Thrive site for my channel members, um, the reason why we have that site is because of Philly D. Philly D, who bared with me when I first got the uh, Inventables machine because he had lost his father, um, I think around Christmas time last year. Um, very emotional you know, situation. I, I don't know how it's going to be when I lose my parents. Um, I know I'm going to be a mess. And he wanted me to do a print. And this is before we really learned how to use it and before we ended up getting the uh, Vectrix software, which is a game changer. The software that came with the machine um, is made for really cutting out cabinets. And it's kind of hit and miss when you're doing stuff. So if you've seen stuff that I did the first year, I mean the first couple of months, versus what we do now, it's totally different. You know, it's, it looks, it's got depth. You can see everything and all that. But he really wanted me to get this thing done to give to his mother. Well, Philly D, and I just talked to him a little bit ago, shout out to him, is a diehard Phillies fan, baseball fan. And he's like, oh, man, you got to do something for the Phillies and wish them good luck or something or other. Because, you know, my dad was a huge Philly fan. And, you know, this is, he, he would be going nuts right now. You know, knowing about the Phillies being in the the World is it the World Series? I, I, yes, the World Series. See, I, I don't I don't do baseball. I don't listen to this man. I don't do baseball. Hey, Washington Sorry. won the World um, Series. I, I, I'm trying to stay married. <laughs> I spend a lot of time on YouTube doing the Dallas Cowboys, and we all know the Cowboys. There is no off season when it comes to the Cowboys. I mean, even the off season, you got Jerry Jones and car accident. Jerry Jones finding out he's got an illegitimate daughter. You know, we got Amari Cooper trades for you know a, a potted meat sandwich, and then the Randy Gregory El Paso and all that stuff. You know, we, we got drama. We got drama. So I'm, I'm busy with the Dallas Cowboys, so I don't have time to keep up with baseball. And if I were to do what 162 games of baseball. That's just, I, I, it's just too much, it's too much time. It's too much time. That's so bad. But, does. good luck to the Phillies, and I hope that they, they, that they, that they win for my man Philly D's dad, okay? He, maybe he's down in heaven watching down, and he's listening to this. So, shout out to you, Philly D, and all that. And I hope that you Eagle fans, you got one more, one more day, one more day, one more day, that I got to figure out what to do with this hat. So if you guys, oh, what? You can sign it and auction it off. Who wants, who wants a sweaty hat? Call it some crazy evil fan. <laughs> He's saying autograph it and auction, and auction it off. <laughs> some, for charity. How about that? Yeah, for you, charity. Yeah, you can do it for charity. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Leave a comment in here what you think I should do with the hat. Eagle fans, I, I, I know what you're going to say. Wear it every day for the rest of your life. No, that's, I just give it to one of y'all or something. I might have to put it in the, the, the uh, Cowboys uh, Smithsonian as a, you know, as a trophy of war or something or other. <laughs> or, I don't know. But, but anyway. There you go, Eagle fans. You got another video of me wearing the hat, okay? I'm not taking a nap this time. I'm not sitting out in the dark. I'm not on the toilet, okay? There you go.
Have at it. Peace.